Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Instruments of Destruction. I absolutely love this game. I've been speaking to the dev recently and he's now combined my alpha build that I have uh, with the demo. You can see here, combined demo changes with all content. Uh, he's also added two tester islands. Uh, but not only that, I asked him, can you up the parts limit from 100 to like some infinite number? He said, I won't do infinite, but you can have 500 parts, Matt. 500 parts. So uh, this is going to be fun. So yeah, these are all the islands we played before. So it's a lot more popular polish now than when I last played. All right, so I'm not entirely sure which of these we did last time, so I guess we'll just work our way through them again. So this is Scorpius. Let's try normal. And to start with, we're going to come up to here, the vehicle tab, and we're going to use some showcase vehicles, because I know he's added a few. So let's just start from the top. The Twisted Wrecker. That sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this looks pretty good. Yeah, and I've changed the color, so even better. Right, all right, let's give this a bash. So we've got that to spin. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, wow, it really wants to turn me. Uh, well, well, that didn't go very well. All right, this time we won't spin until we need to spin. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the left bridge. All right, we're stuck on the lamppost, so boosh. All right, careful on the bridge. Careful on the bridge. Damn wrecking balls. All right, lamppost, see you later. Right, building, you are in trouble. No, I'm in trouble. No, building, you're in trouble. There it goes. Oh, crap, that bridge just collapsed. Oh, yes, destruction. Love it. All right, and now a big ass building. We're going to get a bit closer before we turn on our spinners. All right, ready? Oh, God, it moved me. Oh, oh there she goes. Damn. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right, so now we've got to head over that way if we can get a grip. There's a lot of debris about. All right, here we go. Now we're cooking on gas. Oh, I was about to jump that. I think that's probably a bit too far. I think we'll go the other way. All right, over the bridge. Mind my balls. <laughs> Sorry, trees. Oh, no. Oh, there isn't a bridge over. All right, we're going to have to jump. Believe. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. All right, if we wiggle, if we wiggle, we might be able to get up. Never mind. All right, let's try something that looks a bit easier to control. Maybe the plow puncher. What does this one do? So it's got a plow. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's a lot easier to steer. So hopefully this will be fairly easy if we can fit across the bridge. So I've made a hole in that bridge trying to get across. We'll go the long route. All right, easy, easy. Right, ready? Boosh, boosh, boosh. <laughs> Just plow my way through. <laughs> oh, man, that proper sends things flying. Oh, and it's down. It's down on my head. Question is, how the hell do you get across there? Do you just jump? I think you're meant to have guns. Power. Oh, uh, right. Anyway, we're on a different level. We're going to go to vehicles. I still want to try some of these showcase vehicles. Some looked pretty cool looking. The Unchained Smasher. Oh, <laughs> Okay, what's this one going to do? Oh, yes. That's going to be some power. Oh, God. Ready? Boosh, 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 boosh. Oh, so good looking. All right, we'll get a nice close up of this. Ready? Smash it all. Yes. Oh, man, that is that is pretty good looking. This does not get old. I'm just looking at how it works as well. We've got like a joint in the middle for our steering and then just two spinny things. I didn't think we had spinny things. So whether that's new from the demo or what, I don't know. But uh, it's going to be fun to build with. Right, I really want to try this one just because of the name, the Double Mega Mace. <laughs> oh, whoa. That does look like a Double Mega Mace. Right, so how does this one work? Is it just... Oh, wow. Whoa. <laughs> I would not want to be in the middle of that. Boosh. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, they came straight down. Oh, that is that is gold. The double mega mace is doubly mega. I'll give it that. Quad rocket gunship sounds pretty interesting. Uh, so it seems to just be like nothing. It's just a load of blocks. So what do we have? Okay, so we can angle those. Oh, oh, we have the power of flight. Holy, ah. Right, it is sort of flying. It's pretty hard to steer. Oh, God, it just wants to flip. Uh, we've also got E and Q. Oh, God, that's fallen on our head. Can we lift it up? You're coming with us. Oh, man, that is, that is pretty good, though. Whoa, why do they flip so much? <laughs> all right, anyway, shall we shall we build something? I am quite intrigued to see all the new stuff that the dev has added. So let's reset our vehicle. So now we're just nothing. We're just a cab. Uh, first things first. Rather than doing a destructive vehicle, because we, we've done a bit of destruction now, I want to try and build a bridge. Of course, how could you expect anything else? So, what can we use for the base of our bridge? I reckon... Yeah, we're just going to have to use blocks. Okay, so we start with... How many ways do we want? I think we want five way. That's every way apart from the bottom. All right, so we'll flip that so the flat bit is on the bottom. Right, nice. And our bridge is going to be how wide? Five wide, I guess. So we'll turn mirror on. We'll do that. All right, that's good. So these edge ones, they can be 
four way, I think. Yeah, that's good. That is good. So we'll delete those ones. All right, I'm a bit concerned how big my bridge is going to be. <laughs> Maybe I should have built this on a different level. Oh, well. All right, so what I really want to do is sort of build the pillars with this not attached. So this is the bridge deck. Now, it does need to be a lot longer. I'll try and move. I'll just move it over there for now, just temporarily. All right, so how long can we do this? There you go, just doing the edges. Look, we're already over the 100 part limit yet, and we haven't even built any of the bridge. This is just the deck. So uh, thank you, Dev, for adding that in for me. Let's hope my PC doesn't blow up when I actually hit play, though. All right, that's pretty good. Now let's build the vertical bits. And I, I want to keep these disconnected if possible. All right, so I'm pretty sure if we use... What do we want to use? The... Maybe just beam pieces to go up. All right, nice. And then these ones, we basically want... What do you want? One, two... We want four-way. So we want that one across. Bung it there. Rotators are... <laughs> this thing is going to be huge. All right, that, that's pretty big. Um, we should probably put a five-way somewhere on there, you know, just so we can put, like, a support beam across. And we'll just shove our cab out the way for now. We'll just put it there for now. We need to give our thing feet, so I think we'll connect connect under there up. And then just to make sure it doesn't rock, we'll, gi we'll give a little, little stubby feet like that. Alright, so if we play that now, this bit in the middle should drop. Yes. And everything else stayed up. So now we've got the really, really fun bit, uh, which was actually like my favorite part of like bridge building games, like poly bridge and stuff. Uh, connecting all the rope and stuff up. So we've got bungee. Don't know if we should do bungee to start. Maybe we've got cable. And we've also got rope and wire. I think, shall we do cable? That sounds like it's probably the strongest. So if we unmirror, we're going to have to do these all manually. But I think we can go from there to there. And then the same on that side from there to there and we do from there to there and so on and so forth oh it's actually looking incredible already <laughs> i'm worried i might come to the 500 part limit pretty soon though look at that right we're under we're under half the parts list i don't think we'd be able to do a full bridge like this but we'll do all of this and then maybe we'll go to the to one of the bigger levels i know that's like a tester level that's sort of empty maybe we can see if we can make a full bridge but uh this is looking fantastic uh, whether it actually works will be another story. Right, and this type of bridge is called a cable stay bridge. Although it looks quite complicated, it's actually really simple. So if you like look about the middle, you've got all these cables completely symmetrical. So the weight of the bridge on this side, trying to pull this middle section to the left, is being balanced by the stuff on the right. So assuming we've done our bridge the same length either side, and you can see we haven't actually, so we need to get rid of five blocks these end blocks are sort of wrong all right so now we have a bridge i don't know what's gonna happen when we press play here do you want to place your bets oh no <laughs> she fell over a little bit it might be because our feet aren't wide enough oh flipping vehicle that's quite a dangerous button <laughs> oh <laughs> look it's actually take yes i destroyed the level of the bridge <laughs> yes oh this is a million times better than i thought it would be <laughs> Yes, we've actually taken the level down. All right, so so bridges pretty strong in this game. Oh man, that's that's pretty funny. Yeah, but let's just use some six-way heavies down the bottom just to make this a bit more stable. Now in real life, like these poles, they'd be like under the ground, like covered in concrete. And they'd be like a massive weight. Sometimes they're like drilled into the bedrock underneath. But this one, we've got to make it a bit wider just to try and show that. But look, our bridge actually works. That's incredible and this is sort of why i love this game the fact they've included rope like so many building games don't do that and it is such a shame uh the next thing i want to try while this is actually working if we disconnect that all right so in the middle here we've got our little cab so if we get some wheels or maybe the tank tracks i think they will probably work better so we got tank treads on the side now if we press play we've got a little vehicle on our bridge oh, i can't get grip i tell you what it might be because they're all connectors let me try one thing quickly so i remember somewhere in here that was like end caps yeah these square covers so this is gonna proper rack up on the parts total but uh, it might make more of a road laying road just like i'm an engineer right so now if we play can we move our car yes kind of Almost. Oh god, don't fall off, don't fall off. Reverse, reverse. <laughs> oh, he's off. Right, but we can we can go under our bridge. Our bridge actually works. Look at it. <laughs> Look at it. 
Let's save this vehicle. All right, slot one, your name is Reg. Nice. Right, so next, I want to try and replace all these wires with bungee. So we're back to the basics. We're going to go into this one and bungee base. Now, I don't really know what bungee is, uh, but with this truck thing on it, it might properly ping about. I don't know. You can probably just do like the main ones to save a bit of time. If we just do like end to end because they look a bit slack, the old bungee cords. So uh, shall we see what that does? Oh yeah, they are a bit slack. It's just, <laughs> it's just on the ground and they're going mental. Look at them. They're like flappy, wavy, happy arm hands. As it's so slack, let's see if adding all of them in will actually help us because I've got nothing better to do. Oh God, this this one doesn't look as uh, as sturdy as the previous. I can't see where the block is because there's a bloody leaf on it. All right, 10 minutes later, we are finally there. Last piece in. It looks a bit sad, this bridge. It looks, <laughs> looks like it's not aged very well. Let's press play and see what happens. Boing. Oh, Oh, it's working. My car's not working very well, but the bunginess is definitely working. That's cool. I wonder if wheels would be better. Should we try wheels instead? Oh, look at that though. The bridge is sort of settled. It looks a lot happier now. It looks a bit windy as well. <laughs> One other thing I wanted to try with this. I wanted to try and turn it into like a bit of like a ram. So I sort of think if I put some rockets on either end, then maybe I can like sort of rock it a little bit. Like turn into like a battering ram or something. So if we come into here, flight, we've got thruster or blaster. We want a thruster. And um, we just want to put those underneath. Yeah, pointing that way. Strength probably needs to be three. And then over this way, do the same under there. Strength three rotation that way but for these ones i want to change the controls so if we click on this show advanced we can fiddle with controls and things so we don't want them to be toggle we want them to to be normal i think normal is just when you press it it's on cool right let's press play so we'll wait for the bridge to settle and then we've got q and e to sort of try and rock it yes Oh, yes, we made a swing. Oh, I might need to be higher. Oh, wow, I've just found out this button. Nice. <laughs> oh, my God. It's destroyed the building. It's gone mental. <laughs> yes. Oh, God. Yes, I love breaking games. I'm sorry, Dev. I can help myself. So basically, you can move, like, entire parts. Oh, I've cocked it now. I've cocked it now. <laughs> Basically, I just moved everything up and uh, somehow it went mental. There we go. Let's try that. And oh, God, it's really dangly now. I, <laughs> I sort of messed it up a bit. Right. Let's get the swing on. Ready? Fire. Boosh. <laughs> All right. One more swing. Ready? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, so much destruction. And for the first time, my frame rate's actually slowed down. Yeah, but look at that mess. That is beautiful. Even at the frame rate we're getting. All right, let's flip it and send it mental. Holy crap. It looks so cool. All right, we're upright. We are upright. Will the bridge be fixed? Oh, it's in the woods. Oh, man, that was fun. That was really fun. All right, that was a lot of fun, but we're going to sort of start again. So we're going to regrettably reset the vehicle. Now, this time, I want to use the power of Tensegrity. Have you ever seen Tensegrity structures before? They're sort of, they're made to make like an illusion. So it looks like something's floating. Um, I've only done these in 2D before, so I'm just going to have a little Google to see what a 3D one looks like. Oh, actually, that's that's a complete lie. I did this in Kerbal Space Program, but for miserably yeah, but anyway i can remember my kerbal design so it was essentially right so what we want to do we want to do a beam going down and then we want a three-way yeah i think a three-way under there and then some more beams this way with mirror on yeah that's good and then a corner piece which is just that one and then a few more of those and more corner pieces and i also love this compared to kerbal you can like do that you can connect loops and it doesn't matter kerbal goes all mental when you try and do that all right so here we want a 90 degree bobby like that angle that way all right we're gonna have to build something just out the way to sort of just as somewhere to put our cab for now just out the way i think we'll plonk that there and also i just realized as well the corners they actually want to be four or five ways they want to be like three way on a corner but i don't think that is an option yeah it doesn't seem to be an option i basically want three way but not in that orientation so i think oh, we'll just do six six is easy and then we can just do a 90 degree bend there angle that and what we're gonna do i'm gonna do this sort of in steel first and then we'll replace them with rope afterwards so we'll do two down like that and a 90 degree bend underneath facing that way and then we'll do two beams like that i'm basically just doing like the mirror image so we've got one two three four five so one 
two, three, four, five. And then we've got our little three way up. And we've got two beams like that. And then a six way. So that's the five. And then another six way beam. And then we just connect it together like that right now we delete that you can see this structure now if we press play it's not it's not connected it's just two two separate things completely fallen flat however if we connect these using our rope tool so we can use i don't know did we use wire before no we used cable before we haven't used rope or wire let's use wire so if we go from there up to there oh it just looks like telephone wire i guess does it so basically you want to do all four of these and then this one in the middle and now if you're looking at that you're probably thinking well that's not gonna do shit all matt what are you on about what are you on about matt i thought you're an engineer um but let's press play let's see what happens bollocks <laughs> okay i think we need to find a less stretchy material because that didn't work at all <laughs> All right, let's try cable again. Oh, yeah, that's a lot straighter. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be stretchy. I think the wire is sort of more like a bungee cord. Right, so now when we press play, you can see the illusion is real. It's floating. And remember, these are these are cables. These don't have any compressive strength. So you can see that's like all bending. Optical illusion. I'll tell you what, actually, if we do chains, because I think people understand a bit easier that a chain, like, has no compressive strength. All right, and here we go. Look. It's even better. It's like perfectly balanced now. I absolutely love that. And yeah, I'll, I'll explain how it works. And then once you once you've sort of once you know how it works, you will never like be able to unsee it again and it won't be as impressive anymore. But essentially all the weight like of this top thing, uh, it's all going through that middle chain. So this is like being stretched and uh, these outer chains, they're not taking any weight. They're just sort of stopping the thing from wobbling over. So if you think about this bottom piece, like that's just an arm and then under there is where it's hanging from. And then these four corner ones, they just stop it moving all over the place. Like in my first example where it went mental. But yeah, that's cool. We did turn segrity in this game. And what I originally did in Kerbal Space Program was I put this into the middle of a rocket to see if it would work. Um, obviously in that game, there wasn't really turn segrity because there's, there wasn't a sort of material that only works in tension, not compression, like rope or chains. So now we've got this, we can just bung our rockets on the side and we can see what happens. So E to go up. Right, ready? Rockets away and it's off and it's, it's gone. <laughs> it's long gone. <laughs> um, but I like to think everything worked out fine. Anyway, guys. Thank you very much for joining. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, I can't wait to try out some more crazy builds using rope and chains again. Uh, absolutely incredible. I don't know where that rocket's gone. But yeah, that was Instruments of Destruction again. And yeah, if you've got any suggestions of what I can try and build, let me know in the comments. I really want to try and get that part number up. Maybe I'll, maybe the tank from my first video, I'll go absolutely mental on the cannons and see if it can break my computer. But uh, otherwise, guys, I'll catch you next time. Peace, love, and 10 segrity, which is off screen and you can't see it. Bye!